Now, before we move on to looking at uh, the chain rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule, I just want to confirm some key ideas that you need to be aware of as we move into that section. Okay, so you have met things like uh, in the last video differentiating uh, e to the x, for example. But what if it is e to the kx? Okay, where k is a real number. Now, we're also going to be wanting to deal with uh, y is equal to sine of kx or y is equal to cos of kx, or y is equal to tan of kx, or y is equal to uh, log of kx. Okay? Now, by k is I'm meaning here um, 2x, uh, 3x, uh, minus 5x, okay? So, we need to know in general how to differentiate these and quickly, um, because it will save us a lot of time. Now, you can prove each of these using the chain rule, and it can be good practice to do so. Um, so, dy by dx, in this case, right, the derivative of what is inside comes outside, so the derivative of kx is just k. So it's just ke to the kx. So, for example, y is equal to e to the 3x differentiates to 3e to the 3x. It's that simple. Uh, y is equal to sine kx. dy by dx is k cosine kx. Okay, sine differentiates to cos and the first derivative of what's inside comes outside. So, in other words, as an example, y is equal to sine of 5x differentiates to 5 cos 5x. y equals cos of kx, dy by dx will be minus k sine of kx, Okay, so if I had uh, y is equal to cos of 2x, then dy by dx is minus 2 sine of 2x. y equals tan of kx, dy by dx is k sec squared kx. So if we had y is equal to uh, tan of uh, 1 half x, then dy by dx is 1 half sec squared half x. And finally, this one <coughs> is a slightly more interesting result. dy by dx of this is just 1 over x, regardless of the value of k. So y is equal to uh, log of uh, 50x, for example, dy by dx is equal to 1 over x. Now what I suggest for this example is that when you've watched uh, the chain rule video and you're happy with that, have a go at it with this. Okay, and show prove to yourself that this is true.